Manny, Meditoyo's Data Management and MeasureLink Sales Engineer. And today we'll be talking about the free mobile app from Meditoyo, U-Wave Pack Bluetooth. U-Wave Pack Bluetooth uses our U-Wave transmitter Bluetooth for mics and calipers. These require a transmitter and connection unit, of course. I'll go ahead and snap this into my caliper and launch our app. U-Wave Pack for Bluetooth is available for both Android and iOS. I'll hit the scan button to connect my transmitter for the very first time. I'll press the button there and we'll see that something new shows up. Now, the app will continue to scan because you can connect up to three different devices on here. So it'll continue to scan it unless it finds no other devices. Now we have here the device ID. I'll go ahead and save that. This device ID is representative of what is printed on the transmitter ID here. So I'll go ahead and press the data button again here to get it actually connected. And then now we'll see on the screen that we have a nice big orange connected sign. I can click on the device ID here to give it a unique name if I like, or I can just name it caliper, name it based off of the tool if the device ID doesn't tell you what it is that you're looking for. In the nominal here, I'll go ahead and put the nominal of the part that I'd like to measure. And I can give it a nice big tolerance if I like, 0 0.01. And let's put this one here as a minus. And we can add additional information in a memo field, or we can hit the check mark. So we've connected our transmitter to our app. We've entered in some nominal and tolerance information, and now we can get to measuring. So I'll go ahead and hit my settings button. We can move off from the device list to the measure function. And I'll see that I have a nice green screen here to take some measurements. It'll display my data, as well as a tolerance bar here to let me know if I'm in or out of tolerance. So I'll go ahead and pick up my first part. I'll measure the OD of it, and I'll press the data button. And now we'll see what the value is and where that is in relation to the tolerances. I'll pick up my next part and I'll continue to measure. If something goes out of spec, you'll go ahead and see that in a nice big red background. And when things are going well, you'll go ahead and see that as well. You see here we have also a data button on the screen. So if for whatever reason you can't hit the data button on the device itself, on the transmitter, um, maybe this is going to be, you know, behind some fixture or something like that where you can't get to it. Whatever the case is, as long as your device, your, your tool is reading what you want it to read, you can go ahead and press the data button and it'll send a request to the transmitter and you'll get that information. Notice here that we have a little graph symbol as well, this little thunderbolt, this little lightning bolt here. This will show us a graph of all of our data. So we can start to see, are we trending high or trending low or whatever the case is, we'll give the inspectors a nice uh, idea of what's going on with their process. Notice also that we have a cancel button as well. So if you made a mistake for whatever reason, you can go ahead and press the cancel button. It'll move back. I can pick up my part, remeasure it, and we'll all still be in order there. We also have the ability to connect those other devices here so we can see the caliper, we can see the graphs for all the other devices that we may have connected. And when we press on the all, we'll be able to see each device and their values there as well. When we look at the settings here, there's other options for additional graph that you can look at, a histogram to see the distribution and the variability of your data, where the peak lies within your tolerance. And if ultimately you'd like to get the data out of the app or out of your tablet, you can select the file type that you'd like to export and choose from which device you want the data to, to, to export and share to your favorite program. And there you have it. That is the U-Wave Pack mobile app.